a 36 to 18 advantage for Chicago. What did you see that kind of went wrong for you guys down that stretch? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think we weren't, we didn't make shots. And then uh, just on that end, it was nothing that they were doing in particular. I mean, a whole lot of one on one from DeMar um, and then him creating offense. Uh, Kobe White had a, has a big game as well. Uh, but on the other end, we have to make the shots that we're, that we're given. Um, I think we did get some, some good open looks and then uh, some late turnovers down the stretch. Darren, again, it feels like every time you guys take a couple of steps forward, you take a big one back. Does that feel like one of those steps backwards tonight for you guys? Yeah, it's definitely been a roller coaster for us this year. Um, we always talk about being consistent, and I think, uh, I mean, first quarter, I think we were excellent. Second quarter, I just think we didn't score the ball well, but I mean, we, we're still in command of this game, and then we come out, we have a great third quarter, uh, and then we don't play well in the fourth at all. So uh, we have to be consistent throughout a game and just throughout the entire season. Dear, can you take me through the inbound pass where you threw it out of bounds in like 30 seconds left? What was the play right there? What was supposed to happen in the action? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's something that we run normally. Um, and then uh, we had HB on, or um, Vooch on HB to be like the, that, that, that would usually be Domas, but he fouled out at the time. And I kind of didn't want to take that chance. Um, obviously, don't want someone that's 6'8 over someone that's 7 foot. Um, and I, me and Malik just had a miscommunication. He was coming back to the point where I was trying to throw it over the top to him, and we just didn't get the ball out. Some of that late game execution, fourth quarter, um, and, and turnovers, I guess, specifically, how much of it do you feel like was kind of them pressuring compared to some of your own mistakes? I mean, I think mo most of it was, was our mistakes. Um, just getting too deep into the lane. This is a team that um, doesn't necessarily guard the three ball well, uh, but they do guard the paint well. Um, you know, three, four, five guys in the paint at a time. <clears throat> Um, a lot of hands, and we were just getting too deep into the paint today, and uh, they got their hands on a lot of balls. Darren, is there almost a feeling in some of these games like, like here we go again? Are you guys fighting that a little bit because of the the track record, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we did the same thing to this team earlier this year. We were up 30, and they came back. So um, when we had the lead, we know that this game isn't over, uh, and they did the exact same thing, except they were able to finish this game off today. So, uh, I mean. You look at, the, at any game, you look at the swings of a game, a lot of times one team ends up with a 15-point lead at some point, the other team probably has a 10-point lead at some point. So uh, game swings in a variety of ways. Uh, we just have to be able to put a full game together, and then we have to be better down the stretch if they do get it back to a close game. Fox, well, kind of building off that a little bit, you talked about the swings. I know with scoring at a premium, a 14-point lead isn't what it was five or, or, or ten years ago. But can you speak on that just a little bit further? Is there a way that whether it's your team or, in general, we should be looking at double-digit leads, you think, in the modern NBA, and what is a insurmountable lead versus what is very possible to come back from? I mean, obviously with the amount of threes and how fast games played, um, you know, leads are obviously not the same, but I, mean, I, I wouldn't say this team shoots a... But I mean, they shot 32 threes today, but they're, they're not a team that shoots a bunch of threes, but uh, when a team's able to get stops and be able to turn you over, um, you're pretty much always in the game unless you're obviously down 50. Like that's uh, I mean, probably not coming back from that. But um, we have to be better executing when we do have a lead. Uh, I think we did well. I mean, in the third quarter when we got our lead, I think we were able to sustain. Uh, they made a run, a run towards the end of the third quarter and kind of just leaked into the fourth quarter. But I mean, at the end of the day, on, on the defensive end, we just have to buckle down and guard your guy. I think. I mean, Demar's most of Demar's points were. I think it was probably mostly ISO. I don't think much was coming out of a pick and roll um, or him being on the opposite side with a tagger coming out to close out. There wasn't many of those. He just put his head down and he put them on his back. Fox, I know last week it was right the week ago when you went knee to knee. I'm um, just wondering how, how you were feeling uh, in your first action back and if there was any kind of rust there. No, I was, I was all right. I was fine. Any other questions? Thanks, everyone. Thanks,